Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here with yet another Ham Shack Chat. In this video, I'm going to show you 25 HF multiband vertical antennas to help you get your signals out and over the air. There are many more antennas that fit the description, but I randomly selected, well, mostly randomly, selected 25 of them to present here. They range in price from $159.95 to $895.99. This list represents nine different manufacturers and gives what I think is a pretty well-rounded idea of what is out there for you. This list is sorted by cost from low to high. For each antenna, I've identified which bands are covered, the max rated power, whether or not they need radials, and the overall height of the antenna. That's to help you to know how well you can hide it. I'll also throw in a few tips and tricks that I've come across in my own experience with these types of antennas. Most of these antennas can be purchased at multiple dealerships such as Ham Radio Outlet, DX Engineering, Gigaparts, and from the individual manufacturers themselves. The prices shown are from a variety of sources, but I found most of the sources have the same or close to the same prices that I've listed. If you look down in the video description, I have included links to purchase each antenna represented and for more information about that antenna. However, I do encourage you to look under other sources for a better price. Remember to include shipping and handling. If you own one of these antennas or have owned one in the past, please add your impressions of that antenna, good or bad, in the comments. Yes, you. Questions? Comments? The first antenna on the list cost $159.95 and is the High Gain AV18VS. It can be used on 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters and is rated at full legal power. It is an adjustable monoband antenna, which means that to change your bands, you have to make an adjustment at the base of the antenna itself. It is meant to be ground mounted, does not require radials, and is 18 feet tall. Uh, this would probably be a good antenna for someone who doesn't change bands too often and wants to minimize the look of the antenna to hide it away from nosy neighbors and rabid homeowners associations. The next antenna is the Moonraker 11-251 with a cost of $169.95. It has continuous coverage from 80 to 6 meters with the rated output of 400 watts. It does require an external tuner and the manufacturer was adamant that a rig with an internal tuner would not be sufficient and that an external tuner was needed. It is intended to be elevated or pole mounted, does not require radials, and is 19.6 feet tall. The high gain AV14 AVQ covers the 40, 20, 15, and 10 meter bands. It's rated for full legal power, requires radials, is 18 feet tall, and costs $229.95. At $249.95, the MFJ1795 covers 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters with full legal power. When ground mounted, it is 7 feet tall and requires radials. When roof mounted, it is 10 feet tall and requires the accessory roof mount. The Hustler 5BTV covers all the bands between 80 and 6 meters and is rated for full legal power. Its cost is $277.98. It requires radials and is 26 foot tall. The Hustler 6 BTV is 24 feet tall and covers 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meter bands at full legal power. Radials are recommended for best efficiency, but they are not required. At $369.95, and it's 18 feet tall for that, the high gain AV18 AVQII 
covers 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meter bands at the full legal power and radials are not required. The Cushcraft MA6VA covers all bands between 20 and 6 meters with the maximum power rating of 250 watts. It is 14.7 feet tall and radials are not required. Its cost is $399.95. Covering the 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meter HF bands, along with the 6 and 2 meter bands, along with the 70 centimeter band, all at a maximum of 200 watts PEP, the MFJ 2389 does not require radials and is 8.5 foot tall. The Comet CHA 250HD is 8.5 feet tall with coverage from 80 through 6 meters. Max rated power is 250 watts. Radials are not required and it stands at 8.5 feet tall. Its cost is $429.99. The Diamond CP5H does not require radials, is rated at 500 watts on the 40, 20, 15, and 6 meter bands, and is 11.7 feet tall. Its cost is $434.99. A reminder that all of these antennas are listed in the video description with links that you can look up and get more information than I'm providing here. In case of a discrepancy between what I say and what is presented by the links, believe the links. Before we move on to looking at more antennas, if you've made it this far in the video and are enjoying yourself and maybe even learning a little bit, please take a moment to pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. I like you. Do you like me? With full coverage between 160 and 6 meters and a full legal power rating, the MFJ 2990 will cost you $469.95. It is 43 feet tall and requires radials. The Diamond CP6AR costs $469.99 and has coverage of the 75, 40, 20, 15, 10, and 6 meter bands. It is 15.1 feet tall and rated at 200 watts. Radials are required. Full disclosure, the Gap Challenger DX is the antenna that I use for all of my HF work, and I've worked around the world with it. It's 31.5 feet tall with a power rating of 200 watts and requires radials. As with all of the gap antennas, it is not purely a vertical antenna. The top and bottom sections of the antennas are separated by a phenolic spacer and that's where the feed point of the antenna is, making this a vertically polarized dipole. It radiates on the 80 or 75, 40, 20, 15, 12, 10, 6, and 2 meter bands. Though with the judicious use of a tuner, I've made mine radiate pretty well on 30 meters. The cost is $489.95. Another gap at a cost of $499.95, the Eagle DX radiates on 40, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meters. It is rated at full legal power on 20 through 10 meters and 300 watts on 40 meters. It's 21 feet tall and radials are not required. The high gain DX88 is 25 feet tall and covers 80, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meters. It's rated at 1500 watts and radials are recommended. At 25 feet tall, the Gap Titan DX has coverage of the 80, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meter bands. Radials are not required and it is rated at 500 watts. It comes at a cost of $589.95. The tallest of the Gap series of antennas at 45 feet is the Voyager DX. It costs $645.95 and covers the 160, 80, 40, and 20 meter bands. It is rated at full legal powers and radials are required. It is also probably the next antenna that I will install with my system, 
mostly so that I can work the Stu Perry Top Band Contest. Covering 40 through 6 meters with full legal power and no radials required, the High Gain AV640 is 25 feet tall with a cost of $659.95. The High Gain DX77A covers the 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meter bands. Its power rating is 1500 watts and radials are not required. It is 29 feet tall and has a cost of $659.95. I've talked about whether radials are required, recommended, or not required at all. To this end, I leave it up to you to go and do the additional research by following the links I've included down in the video description. And there you can find more information on how many radials need to be added, etc. Some require 3, some require 12, recommend 24, and say if you can go up to 60, you go up to 60. Here's a little ham life hack. You have a couple of options for laying down your radials. Some people like to just lay them across the ground and staple them down. I prefer burying mine an inch or two below the ground level. To make this an easier task, I use a common lawn edger and just drag it where I need to and lay the radials in the shallow trench that the edger makes. Also, you might notice that a lot of those antennas, but not all of them, that do not require radials will have a counterpoise built into the antenna structure itself. In the next segment, we're going to finish up our list of antennas. But before you do that, let me ask you to please help me share the word about this video and others that I've made by sharing. Share, share. Them with your friends, family, and cohorts in the amateur radio community, especially on social media. The Butternut HF6V will cost you $679.99. Maximum power is 1500 watts in CW and SSB mode and 375 watts in digital modes. The antenna is 26 feet tall and radials are not required. The antenna costs $679.99 and is resonant on the 80, 40, 30, 20, 15, and 10 meter bands. I was a little confused by the write-up on DX Engineering because on one hand it told me that there were the six bands I just talked about but there was a suggestion that you could also work six meters. This is a case where you should go do your own research if this is an antenna you might be interested in and if having six meter is a deal breaker for you. At 29 and a half feet tall with no radials required, the Cushcraft R6 will run you $699.95 and it radiates on 40 through six meters at full legal power. The high gain AV680 is resonant on all bands 80 through six meters at full legal power. Radials are not required and the antenna is 26 feet tall with a cost of $796.95. At $799.95, the 31 foot tall Cushcraft R9 is resonant on all bands from 80 through six meters with full legal power and no radials required. And our final antenna to be discussed is the Butternut HF9V. At $825.99, this is the most expensive on the list. It covers 80 through six meters with full legal power on CW and SSB and 325 watts on digital modes. Radials are not required and it is 26 feet tall. As I noted from the beginning, there are a lot more HF multiband vertical antennas on the market than just the 25 I've listed here. However, I think I've got a pretty good sampling across multiple manufacturers of antennas with differing capabilities and requirements to at least give you a good idea of what's out there. If you have anything you would like to add, such as an antenna that you recommend, Please leave your remarks in the comments. And if you appreciate this video and enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed putting it together for you, please give me a like. If you know someone who might find value in the information presented, please share this video with them. And finally, 
please consider subscribing to this channel. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I am at your service. This has been a Hamshack Chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out. That's too much information. <laughs>